The flight attendant said it made her sick to her stomach that she was possibly washed while in the bathroom, let alone all of the passengers, including children. Plus, she claims after she reported this to Southwest Airlines, they stalked and monitored her behavior. Two and a half hours into a flight to Phoenix from Pittsburgh in February 2017, Southwest Airlines pilot Terry Graham asked a flight attendant to stay in the cockpit while he used the restroom. Protocol states two people must be in the cockpit at all times. That's when the flight attendant, Renee Steinecker, saw an iPad mounted on the windshield in front of the pilot's seat, live streaming video from inside the lavatory. According to court documents, co-pilot Ryan Russell told Steinecker the camera was so well hidden no one would find it. He also told her not to tell anyone because it was quote on the down low and he tried to convince her it was a new security measure in all Southwest Airlines 737 to 800s. Steinecker took a photo of the iPad and showed it to the other flight attendants. Then she reported it to the airline. However, according to court paperwork, a supervisor told her and the other flight attendants to keep what they saw to themselves and Steinecker was warned quote if this got out if this went public, no one, I mean no one, would ever fly our airline again. For months, Steinecker reported feeling stalked and monitored in a, quote, threatening and bizarre manner, all while the pilots are still flying for the airline and have not been disciplined, according to the documents. Southwest Airline released a statement saying, the safety and security of our employees and customers is Southwest's uncompromising priority. As such, Southwest does not place cameras in the lavatories of our aircraft. At this time, we have no other comment on pending litigation. And attorneys representing Steinecker also released a statement saying in part, the cockpit of a commercial airliner is not a playground for peeping toms. Behavior that distracts and distresses crew members during flight compromises safety. So it'll be interesting to see where this one goes. And also it's a little bit alarming to see how long this has been going on mm -hmm. and it hasn't been addressed. Two years. And we were talking earlier, we were trying to think of some possible explanation, like the pilots didn't come out and say, well, we were monitoring for somebody we thought might be smoking in there. Like, mm -hmm. No explanation's been given aside from this vague statement from Southwest. Right, and Southwest initially in those court documents, they denied her allegations. Mm -hmm. So initially they were sticking up for, for those pilots. Yeah. And we'll, we'll see, see how it happens. plays out. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kim. Yeah. Thank you.